Hey guys, how you doing? I'm going to be doing your, uh, just a collective reading here. So just going to be open, see what's going to be coming out. Uh, welcome. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so. Uh, hit the like, share, definitely helps the channel out. So let's just see what comes out here. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. All right. Of course, these are general, so, you know, it's obviously not going to be resonating with everyone here. All right. So we do have the world that comes out here. So definitely a new beginning. Um, somebody here um, is looking for a new beginning or has started a new journey here, um, you know, or just want something new. You know, they're done with whatever they've been dealing with. They want a new cycle here. All right. Um, let's see. The world, we have the high priestess. All right. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, um, or it may be some sort of water energy here, but, um, you know, somebody here is using their intuition. Somebody is, um, moving forward, but, uh, but calculating which direction they want to go towards. I feel like whoever this is, is, you know, maybe somebody here has been repeating cycles over and over again. Um, you know, doing the same thing, meeting the same type of people. Um, you know, this is like an energy of, Maybe you've invested so much into certain types of people where they get hurt all the time, and now they're just really focusing on a new beginning here, but using your intuition. Um, let's see. The Chariot could be dealing with the Cancer, or, um, you know, this is somebody here that just wants to move forward. You know, again, a lot of forward movement, okay? Um, forward movement, uh, you know, the Chariot is all about moving forward and moving forward fast, you know? And... Um, you know, but using your intuition at the same time. So whoever this is, is very intuitive. Um, and has their eyes set on something here. Let's see. We have the Queen of Cups. So again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or, um, you know, this is you. Um, but definitely using your intuition here. Strong Cancer energy. Um, let's see. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. So the Five of Swords in reverse tells me somebody wants to move forward towards somebody here. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and kind of wants to, um, you know, just kind of make the peace here. Let bygones be bygones. Um, you know, if there was some sort of conflict in the past, I feel like this person wants to end those things here. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, so we have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is really focusing on building up this, uh, building up a stability, building up something here with someone, right? Um, the Three of Pentacles is all about, like, starting something new and kind of getting things going here. And the two of, uh, the Four of Pentacles is really being focused on building some sort of stability here. So I feel like there could be a water sign. Um, strong Cancer doesn't necessarily have to be wanting a new beginning here. Um, and, and they're moving forward. They definitely want to move forward towards someone. And, um, and again, maybe it was some sort of conflict that they used to have, but then now because it's in reverse, they want to move forward and, and they don't want conflict. They don't want drama. Okay. They don't want to fight. And I feel like also this person po possibly has fought quite a bit of people already to kind of get towards this energy. Okay. So they could have been dealing with an air sign. They could have been dealing with a group of people that was not supporting them. You know, it could have been a toxic environment. It could have been people gossiping. There could have been a situation here where somebody just is ending all that past situation here and wanting some sort of new beginning and wants some sort of stability here, okay? Um, could be an earth sign as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, let's see, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's, that's somebody, again, when I said stability, this is somebody trying to work towards something to where they could be a long-term abundant relationship with somebody here. Um, and possibly this person is coming in with some sort of gift. Maybe, you know, maybe their way of apologizing is buying you a gift. Some people don't necessarily say it. They just kind of come in and say, you know, here you go. And, uh, and they hope for some sort of new beginning here. All right. Uh, let me get one more card. But somebody is moving towards you and wanting some sort of new beginning. Knight of Cups, definitely. It's, it's you know, heavy water energy, okay? And then the bottom of the deck here, I have the moon as well, all right? So 
heavy water energy someone wanting to come forward here wanting some sort of new beginning wanting wanting something big with you okay knight of cups you know this is not a page this is a knight coming towards you so they they're definitely serious about this decision uh we do have also a cancer full moon coming up as well so as you can see in that card you can see the the little lobster there at the bottom you see how, how that you know she's coming up out towards the moon so it's like pretend it's your or not pretend it is your subconscious um you know coming to for you know it's coming to light here whatever this person is thinking about whatever the past was whatever the case is this person is starting to realize that you know their mistakes and they want to move forward towards you um a lot of it probably has to do with some sort of realization moment here it could have been a fight it could have been a situation here where somebody just kind of woke up and said you know what um you know this whatever area situation that i'm in is not working out for me and they want to run towards you here and offer some sort of stability and maybe a new relationship okay uh, but definitely somebody here during you know the full moon energy cancer and full moon here um i feel like somebody's gonna have some sort of wake up call or maybe just kind of like um like an eye opening type of situation here all right um let's see let me clarify the five of swords what's five of swords the ace of wands okay so ace of wands ace of wands is fire energy you could be dealing or you could be a fire sign as well uh aries leo sagittarius um but you know it's a, creating a new idea something like that as well but also just having some sort of passionate new beginning with somebody and i feel like maybe somebody here uh developed some passion for someone and they're just saying you know what i'm gonna end things to wh wh whatever situation that i'm in i'm gonna move forward and then offer this new beginning you know ace of wands ace of pentacles okay someone's very serious about this some sort of new beginning here with the world but definitely intuitive as well okay or you could be very intuitive and they're kind of moving towards you and they see that as well but the chariot the queen of cups and the moon being underneath there that strong feel of cancer here okay um let's see get three more cards yeah so i mean this is a situation where you know with the seven of wands okay this tells me that maybe there was a situation where people were saying a lot of stuff um a lot of people are getting involved um into this relationship or connection okay Again, these wands are coming towards this person. Doesn't matter male or female, but there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of talk shitting going on here to where one of you guys had to back out, you know? Uh, maybe this person did, or maybe you did, but, but one of you guys, and it's again, fire energy, but one of you guys had to just say, you know what? This is not what you you signed up for. You know, you just have to kind of cut the ties and move forward. Um, maybe this person needed to make a decision. Maybe they needed to move, you know, make a choice of what they wanted to do and they didn't make the choice at that time. Which caused a lot of heartbreak, you know. Three of Swords, um, you know, is it, just an energy of somebody feeling, you know, disappointed, you know, and and uh, and broken hearted here. I mean, maybe somebody did want some sort of stability with somebody here, wanted to grow with somebody, but that timing wasn't right uh, because you know, with the Ten of Cups, somebody wanted, um, you know, a full family life, happy life with this person. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm seeing here. What's the potential outcome from this situation? Um, but definitely somebody moving towards you. So, you know, there's a heavy water sign moving towards you. There's too many cards here. Doo, doo, doo. All right. So heavy water sign moving towards you. Doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign, but still feel heavy water. Um, cancer, if you are dealing with a cancer. Um, Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Wow. And uh, so there's a lot of burdens in this relationship, okay? So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. So there's a situation here where, you know, quite possibly this could have been something that six months ago, um, a year ago. And I feel like there's a lot of unsaid things. So maybe there's a situation here where there is a reconnection. Somebody is definitely moving towards you, wanting some sort of passion, new beginning, possibly coming in with a gift here. Um, or looking for long-term stability definitely dedicated the four of pentacles is being dedicated to work on something here okay working on this relationship um in the past again both of you guys want this ten of cups you guys want this happy life um but when this happens here you know the potential outcome 
of this reading, Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. Again, it's the fact that you need to hash out and really discuss what your futures or what your goals are, both of you guys, okay? So if this person comes in and says, hey, let's start something new or let's do this again, um, you, you kind of have to really um, hash out whatever that situation was and why it happened that way and, you know, and, um, and kind of get to that point uh, before moving even forward, okay? Three of Wands energy. Um, otherwise, you're going to have really unfinished business. I just feel like it's a fresh type of energy. I don't feel like it's someone that you've known like, you know, five years ago and they're coming back around. I think this is like a year, maybe even two years or less, okay? Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But I feel like there's unsaid things, unfinished business, and that needs to be hashed up uh, before anything moves forward. Bottom of the deck, though, we do have the lovers. So definitely a good outcome. So it's going to be a deep connection here, something that is stable, long term, can move forward here. Um, you know, the lovers, the king of cups and the six of cups. OK, so this is somebody here from the past that uh, that wants to move forward here and start something new. But again, I feel like the immediate outcome of this read here is, is right here is just discussing about what your what both your needs are what are your goals you know what do you want to do maybe you're focused on something else and this person is focused on something else so you have to discuss that you have to discuss and say you know why didn't this work out before why was why was somebody listening to the drama why was someone listening to someone else you know you know how can you be sure that in the future this person is not going to listen to anybody else you know and that's kind of the discussion that i see coming through but with the lovers the king of cups and the six of cups i feel like it's all going to kind of work out and you also have the ten of cups here too it's going to work out and become a very deep long-term connection here for you but it's going to take time there's going to be a situation here where you need to um to really just take your time here just just take it slow okay so that's kind of what i'm seeing for you guys all right so and then also the four of swords you know rest you know just think these think it through and um kind of meditate you know just kind of take your time here whatever it is i feel like there is someone coming towards you definitely wanting a new beginning you might be shocked and surprised that this person comes out of the blue here and that's why you know there might be a couple of like surprises and things like that but um but that's kind of what i'm looking at but at the end of the day again lovers king of cups six of cups someone's from the past the ten of cups you know this is definitely a long-term situation ace of pentacles ace of wands definitely something long term um very good connection but it's going to take some time for you to kind of get going towards this all right so anyway that is the message there um let me get you guys an oracle and then we'll leave it at that yeah so you know a good reading um uh, but you know, definitely like someone's gonna be surprised like someone's gonna be like they didn't expect this person to even have feelings like that and uh, wanting some sort of new beginning or something so someone here is going to be surprised all right so let me get you guys the divine animals oracle and what do we got going on we have snake that is creation number 43 right there so number 43 is snake I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh, it ends up being almost the last one here. All right. So, snake means creation. Um, it is time to shed your skin and try something new. Creation is your birthright. You must understand that to remain stagnant means a, a trophy. So do not fear your own creative flow. If you have a physical alignment or element, if you have a physical element, healing will occur. You are capable of big transformation. If you haven't begun, begin. All right. Um, and let me get to you some messages from the universe here. And uh, we'll close it out. All right. So we have i recognize that i have chosen fear and i choose again i choose love so i recognize that i have choose chosen fear and i choose again i choose love let's see here and then we have when i'm in alignment with love the universe peace the 
when I'm in alignment with the loved universe, the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. And the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless I am fearless and free i am all right so that is what i got for you guys uh hit the like if this did resonate with anyone and um we'll see ya have a good one see ya